disclaimer before I start the video, the vlog. I was going to make it two separate videos, but now that I'm editing, I really can't be bothered. I'm just going to make it one big video. But if you want to see, like, the whole thing, then watch the whole thing. If you don't want to see the chest of drawers and you just want to see, like, a vlog, then watch up to the point where I cut to the chest of drawers. Yeah. So I've just made your life easier. If you've come here just for the chest of drawers, the time, it will be in the description when to skip to. If you don't watch, if you don't want to watch the whole thing, but I go shopping to a charity shop and I do a little haul, so that's in there somewhere at the beginning. So if you want to see that as well, like a try on haul, then watch that as well. But yeah, I'm just gonna put it all in. There's a time in the description for the chest of drawers. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> God, literally look at the state of my hair. I actually look ridiculous. Well, today my plan is to do this dresser that I spoke about in my last vlog. Only thing is, I was supposed to take it downstairs with my dad yesterday, but he's at work. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna get some sort of like plastic thing to put on the floor. Um, so I need to go into town today. I'm gonna do my makeup, get ready, and yes, my maximum spending money is gonna be twenty pounds on like wallpaper and wrapping paper, glue, and stuff like that. So yeah. <laughs> I'm scared if they'll rub, but they're like high platforms. I'm wearing my I'm wearing my skirt that I got from Man. <laughs> this black top and just my um, raincoat because apparently it's supposed to rain. So that's my outfit. I'm kind of really nervous about vlogging in public. I think I put my headphones in because I'm gonna listen to music. So it looks like I'm just on FaceTime or something. Because I'm clever. Um, is that pound still up there? Yes, mate. Okay, I've took a pound. Sorry, mum. Payback, I swear. Okay, I'm going to go and get the bus now. Because I'm too lazy to walk into town. Let me see if I look okay in the mirror. I do this every day. Just to make sure, like, I look presentable. Okay, I'm going to go and get the bus now. Bye. <laughs> I'm sorry I literally didn't vlog anything because I bumped into my friend in town so I was with her all day and I didn't really want to vlog anything but I went to charity shops right that was like my main goal actually no, my main goal was to find stuff for the chest of drawers I did find that but my other main goal was charity shops <laughs> oh yeah I brought so much okay let's go through it together let me show you what I got Right, so first off, I um, well, I went to Debenhams a bit later on. But I went to Debenhams and I found this ring on the floor. So I picked it up. But I got this ring for £2. And then I got this one for £2 as well. It's like rose gold. Actually, no, it's gold. 
with love hearts. I need to take this off, I'm sweating as well. And like a rose quartz sort of colour. So I went to some charity shops and let me just tell you. So basically, when I move to America, because I am moving to America, I don't know when, but I'm moving. Um, and when I move, I'm going to be going to thrift shops, okay? Because they look so, actually no, they look kind of bad. But so in charity shops, you just have to rummage and take your time. So basically, I've wanted some gel shoes. I used to have gel shoes when I was younger, you know, every kid had gel shoes. But now I feel like we need to bring them back into fashion, you know? We need to make them the new fashion icon. <laughs> and that's what I want to try to do. So I got some gel shoes. They need to be a bit cleaned because they have like dirt inside them. But look how cute these are. They just have like the like heel bit there if you can see but they're white and they're in such good condition they're three pound fifty size five but i'm a size six and also they're not gonna fit me and my friend was like just try them on just try them on so i tried them on and they fit me i think i need to cut my big toe now because that's what hits it but other than that look how cute they are so i got some of these for 350 because i feel like these with a pink outfit but they're very cute and if you wore these you can paint your nails white as well to match them so that's always an idea and then i also picked up this polo it's a men's one i think i got more men's clothes today than women's but look how cute it is it's just pink and white it's by the brand Wolves Wolsey. it's probably like an, an expensive i don't know but look it's pink and white and imagine how cute these would go together hello <laughs> How adorable. And plus the pink goes with my pink hair and my pink nails and my pink lipstick and my pink eyes. So, <laughs> pink. And then I picked up a skirt, which is pink. Surprise, surprise. Pink isn't actually my favourite colour. My favourite colour is yellow. But I think pink is so cute. It's just this cute little pink skirt. Look, and it has like really nice um, stitching. Like white stitching. So the pink and white is like a thing at the moment I'm kind of obsessed with. But look how cute that is. It's a cute little short mini skirt. But then imagine that with it, and then that. Oh my god, an outfit. So these are, that's really cute as well. And, and then I also bought this other polo shirt, a different colour, I know. But I'm just thinking maybe a, a bit of a crop, you know, crop it. But this was the first thing I picked up today, so you can see I kind of went a different route. And then, look how cute these are. So these are orange, <laughs> but they're just some like shorts. I didn't try them on, they're apparently a size 12. But look how high waisted they are. And I'm thinking with like a bulky belt, they could be really cute. And this was £1.75. £1.75, come on, this is such a good day. And then I got another polo pink shirt. Yep, Ralph Lauren. Ralph Lauren? Oh, Ralph Lauren. Made in the USA, £3.99. And obviously it has the Ralph Lauren um, sign there. So I went to Denny Bros, which is like an artsy, crafty store, and bought £10 worth of paper so i have obviously all for the um chest of drawers so i have this design i brought two of each so those two i have this design as you can see i'm kind of going for like a bohemian sort of theme so this design got this design and then i got the same design but a different color orangey color cute i know a brighter blue one with green in it so what my idea is, is to rip it all up, like in different sections, get my PVA glue and just go to town. If I need to get more, I can get more this week. But, yay! So that's me done for that. And I'm going to try on my clothes and I'll show you what they're like on. If they don't fit me, I'll be selling them on my Depop and I'll leave that down below as well. I should do that. I should do like a Depop thing, but then maybe not. I don't know yet. <laughs> Okay, so plot twist. Top's really nice. Sorry, it's kind of like this at the moment. Because the skirt, right? Really cute, right? So cute, yes. But surprise oh it wasn't actually a surprise. Surprise it. The shorts. There is shorts. <laughs> but look how cute it is. I don't know I don't know with the top. I might wear a different top with it. Oh my god, I look like a man. I actually look like a man. The top's really cute as well. Don't know if I should crop it or not though, but it's so soft. These shorts are way too small.
can't get over the shorts. They're so disgusting. <laughs> Oh. oh no. Oh, why do I buy these things? <laughs> and they weren't what they what I expected. You know, I expected it to be like all loose and fun, but I literally feel like one of these people that go travelling. But look, I'm not a big person, but these are like four, a bit tight on my ribs. Oh no, no, no. Okay, this is the other polo. I'm going to crop it. <laughs> I'm not going to wear it like this, but I thought I'd just show you. But I saw this and I was like, crop it. Sorted. Sorted. Okay, this is the other one. It's like a dress. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah, again, I'm not going to wear it like this. Oh, yes. Cute. Cute, cute. Cute. This is the skirt with just like, this is just a top I got from over Island ages ago. These are the shoes. Cute, right? I don't know if I'd wear it though, that's the only problem. That's the only problem with me. I'm like, oh, I love it. But will I actually wear it in public? Probably not. I'm like one of those situations where I'm like, maybe, maybe not. You know? Shoes are definitely my favourite things I brought. Okay, I'll put some shorts on underneath. You can't see them, but there is shorts there. You can probably see them now. And I got a meal deal from Tesco when I was in town. Now I'm just gonna eat some food. Hello, look at my dogs. Well, that's my nan's dog up there, Kayla, on a pillow. Oh, yeah, stretch, Ruthie, stretch. Hi, oh, my babies. Hi, oh, my babies. Yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna watch some Geordie Shaw, I think. I need to email my college as well, saying that I'm leaving. <laughs> Fun, I'm so excited for that. Yeah, I brought a BRT sandwich. Bacon, lettuce, tomato, a fanta, this is my favourite flavour fanta, and some Monster Munch. So I'm just going to sit down, have some lunch before I tidy my room and um, do my chest of drawers. So, yay, Rosie, yay! Yeah, I'm very excited to do that. And if I don't go into college tomorrow, I'll carry on my chest of drawers. So, next time you see me, I'll probably be ready to do the chest of jewels so i'll see you then happy birthday greg bye <laughs> i am sat here and my cat is here to join us so my plan is to get this iron it's not on imagine if it was on <laughs> Um, and steam this just to get off all the paint. I mean, it's kind of like already coming off, um, but just to steam it and just to get all the paint off so we can get this pine back and then get my tissue paper, which I don't know where I put that, but get the tissue paper, rip it up and start collaging these three drawers. I've got this because I'm going to do it in my room. So I've got like all this just to like lift up so I can lift this up and then put all this but just here so it, it doesn't go on my floor like it has here for my cat scratching it. This is for my cat scratching it. Um, so I'm excited to just dig in, do a little artsy crafty thing. I have this for the PVA glue because this is the biggest paintbrush I own. So I forgot to get paintbrushes and this to scrape off the paint. I need to maybe find a bigger paint. Maybe I can use a makeup brush. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little montage of me doing this.
He made me say. like when you get a sunburn and you peel oh, oh, oh yes wow that was so good wow why is it oh fuck's sake okay so I've done this side sort of I started to scream because I don't know how to use an iron. But now I'm onto this bit. I think I'm just gonna go straight onto collaging with all these. Onto this. And then I'm gonna paint this bit here, like this little bit here, like a dark, like a nice blue. And like this bit here as well, a nice blue. I don't know what I'm gonna do about the handles, but I'm just gonna start collaging, I guess. Onto this bit, this bit, and this bit. Hopefully I have enough. I'm gonna start at the bottom work my way up so I'm going to start ripping these and see where it goes okay so it's like oh I don't know how long like an hour since I've filmed this is how far I've gotten wow I'm trying to figure out what to put here that'll be alright won't it there's a bit of blue there but it's kind of covered. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going to put the blue there. And then what do I put there? Because I can't put this dark blue there. Because it's there and there. I can't put that one there. The red, there's red there, red there, and red there. So I can't put red there. I can't put another patterned one like that there. Okay, I'm going to go in for another red. So there's going to be blue up there and red down there. This is just, just giving me too much anxiety, honestly. But I'm um, okay. Blue and red, right, okay, welcome to another time lapse. Okay, it's definitely a few hours later. It's still light outside, so I've done well. Oh my gosh, <gasps> my legs. Oh. I've completed the drawers and I still have paper left and I haven't even used the second papers that I brought, so it's a complete waste of 10 pounds. I think I'm gonna paint the doorknobs. <laughs> doorknobs, no, knobs. Um, blue. And I have, oh, I've done that side as well. So I've done both sides of the pine i just have to decide what i want to do on the top i think i'm gonna pine it as well so all i need to do now is just paint these bits and the doorknobs like a dark blue oh, i'll show you it's hard to describe but right now i've coated this with pva glue so that's all coated nicely now i should coat these two and then get the paint paint it take off the top and then I've literally done it within like four or five hours. I've literally put the glue on a book that I don't use because I don't have a pot. <laughs> so now I'm gonna PVA glue those two, get the paint, paint it, peel off the top, and then I'm done. So. Okay, so I went to the shed and got the paint, but it doesn't smell like paint, it smells disgusting. My mum said it's okay. It is this colour. There's not a lot left, but it smells Really weird. This is when I wish I had like a mask. And then I'm done. It's literally like quarter to eight or something. And I'm literally nearly done. So, 
It's going to be fun painting and have a time lapse. <laughs> It's now, I've literally been doing the top for 45 minutes. It's now 9 o'clock. And I actually know for an hour. I started at 8 o'clock. It's now 9 o'clock. But I've kind of gotten rid of the pain. My dad can do whatever he needs to do. But I finished it. Wow. I just need to like clean it up around the sides. But I've done it. Look how cute it is, yay! Oh my gosh. Oh. Yay! So cute, I love it. That ended really badly, but I am going to paint the top and maybe the sides, the blue as well. So I feel like it looks really weird, just like the pine and the pine. So I think I'm going to paint it all today. Um, so this is going to be the end of the vlog. It's a long one, but I hope you guys enjoy it. I had so much fun recording it and editing it. I've edited it all. It's now 20 past one and I started at 11. So <laughs> time goes fast when you're, you're having fun. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I've left college, so that means I'm going to be making more videos. But there will be a vlog on me saying I've left college, I guess. I don't know. I have it all here. Oh, yeah, look how cool this is. I got this off Amazon or eBay. And this is like this little tripod you can put your phone on. So that's how I'm, like, vlogging at the moment. I'm, like, putting it down. So it's really cool. But, yeah, just expect more, more videos. They're not going to be amazing. They're going to be filmed on my phone and on my laptop sometimes. Because I need to sort my camera out and get in a, like, a vlogging camera, I guess. But they're going to be on my phone, so sorry about like bad quality. But it's quantity, not quality, guys. Have an amazing morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you're watching this. And Merry Christmas. Bye. I'm so bad at jokes. <laughs>